Hey there friends, welcome to the shop. You've got Bill today, and I just finished playing one of the most amazing gaming experiences of my life. I'm talking about Half-Life Alex, total VR. It was, it was incredible. Uh, every moment of exploration and cinematic events that you were literally living in was just extraordinary. Not only that, the moment I picked up a grenade, a combine grenade, I thought, boy, that sure looks like a tape measure. Brittany and I joked, wouldn't it be funny if we made a Half-Life Alex grenade tape measure? So I did. So here's a quick breakdown on how I built this wonderful little functional prop. I did all of my modeling in Fusion 360. It's been my uh, go-to software of choice for making my 3D models. I grabbed screenshots from the game and just laid them in the uh, software there so that I could model everything around it, including a little analog of the tape measure that I used. I've got 3D files as well if you want to go download those and print your own. I'll also have a link to the tape measure that I use so you can get the same exact one. I printed all the parts on my Ultimaker using ABS and I split up the model and I printed it in a way so that I wouldn't have to use very many supports. Even so, I still had to do a bit of cleanup. That meant a whole bunch of sanding and filling and priming and more sanding. But once it was all done, the parts looked really nice and smooth. When I was happy with the surface finish, everything got one more layer of primer and then I could start putting everything together. The side panels were glued on. I used super glue for that. Before I could put everything together, I had to make a little extension for the switch on my tape measure so I could activate it after I had added the grenade parts. That was made from a small piece of aluminum that I glued and screwed to the switch. I also had to cut a slot in my 3D printed parts so that the extension could reach beyond the plastic. Then I hot glued my tape measure into one side of my grenade parts. Once that was all set up, I used super glue around the edge of the 3D printed parts and hot glue on the tape measure to close the whole thing up. And then I had to go in with more filler to take care of the new seams. Once that filler was dry, it all got sanded nice and smooth. And then everything got primed again. Next was the color, and of course it was yellow, but my yellow was pretty thin, so I hit everything with white first, and then I airbrushed on my yellow so that it would show up nice and vibrantly. I let that dry overnight and then did a whole bunch of masking. This way I could just airbrush on the gray, and then when I peeled it off, all those nice details were very crisp. Once I had had a little bit of time to dry, I threw a stencil on the bottom of the grenade and hit that with some white. When I peeled that away, it showed that wonderful decal on the bottom of the tape measure. For the center part on the sides of my grenade, I just hand brushed on some gunmetal paint to give it that nice metallic look. Then for all of these sort of scratches and highlighted edges, I went back with my gray paint and a tiny little brush and just hand brushed on those little bits of scratches and dings. The grenade has some lights on it, but I didn't really have room for LEDs in here, what with the tape measure in the way. So I did my best to try and paint those using an airbrush. I started with some white dots in the middle of where the highlights would be for the lights. And then I used a thinned orange to go over that to do my best and give it a little bit of a glow effect. I think it worked out okay. The last step was to go over everything with my oil paints to give it a nice grimy weathered look. Did that sparingly, didn't want it to be too dirty. I think the result, though, looked very believable. And then, of course, I let it dry for a little while, and my tape measure was completely done. And it works exactly as you might hope it would. I can lock it in place, it's totally good to go, and then I pull my little lever, and it slides back where it needs to go. And I am so in love with this thing! It tickles me every time I see it. Partially because in the game, when you see one of them, you go, oh crap, I need that. Grenades are kind of a limited resource. Uh, but then when I get mine, I can go, oh, look at that. It's so useful. Uh, it's also metric and imperial, which I find super useful. And I cannot wait to use this in literally every project I work on going forward. It's gonna be fabulous. I was also thinking there must be other fun tool prop crossovers. A tool I could put in a prop or vice versa. I'm sure you've got a really great idea. Please let me know in the comments of some sort of cool tool prop combination. I wanna hear, I wanna hear crazy ideas. Nothing is off the table. Let me know what you got. 
Like I said, the 3D print files for these are free and available. There will be a link down in the description as well as a link to the tape measure that I use so you can put together your own. I'd also like to thank the members of our Extra Credit Club for supporting us over the years, especially over the last few months. You guys are wonderful. And you literally help us keep the lights on. Couldn't thank you enough. In fact, I have a much longer uh, detailed sort of director's cut of this build for our patrons and YouTube members in the Extra Credit Club. Thank you guys so much and I hope you enjoy that extended build. If you'd like to become a member of our Extra Credit Club, there are links down below where you can go check that out. That'll do it for today's build, a little short project for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do build one of these, please let me know. Tag me over on Twitter, I'm at Chinbeard. I love seeing the projects that you guys do. That's it for me in the shop today. Thanks so much for hanging out and we'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting.